Email from Steven about dev hate mail. Uh, hey guys, I've been following the site for about a year, and I've noticed that you guys can be pretty critical and sometimes harsh when discussing some controversial release. Uh, I appreciate and enjoy these discussions, but a thought crossed my mind recently. I wonder if they've received any hate mail from anonymous devs defending their game. If not, have you guys ever had any unpleasant encounters with the developer to show like E3 or PAX? Uh, any stories would be nice, all anonymous if necessary. Mm, yeah, I, sure. Yeah. 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 Have you? I mean, generally the process is that a developer gets super fucking pissed, but directs all of that rage at the public relations people at their company. As if somehow it's a PR person's job to oh, you mean good at their at their own company. At their own company. Oh yeah, you hear about that constantly. And then that PR person calls you and goes, We think the review's wrong, and you go, Okay. And yeah. then that's the end of it. Because like, what are you gonna you know, it's like I bet you do. And I and uh, my my impression is a lot of the times that they make those phone calls, they're strictly perfunctory. It's just like I have to do this. It's my job. Yes, like, I have to make I have to, this I have phone to, call. I have to be able to tell them that I called you. Right. Like they know they know damn well that you're not gonna do a thing. Yeah. But they have to try. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I hate you so much. I'll see you three. Yeah. Um, Heard about that stuff a lot more in the GameSpot days, for us at I, least. Yeah, post GameSpot, I don't know what it was. Someone, I feel like we've gotten exactly one, or I, I can think of exactly one thing that I've gotten about a review score, hmm. and it was uh, one of the Soul Calibur games. Huh. But uh, where it was just like, what do you think it should be higher? I was like, okay. <laughs> Noted. I mean, the response on that end is always like, if you have a, if you have a, you know, problems, if you think it is factually incorrect, if there, if there are problems with the facts of this review, then let's talk. If you're going to say you think the game is better than I, yeah. than I did or, or that the reviewer did, then like, this is a meaningless conversation. I, I had that a couple times at Game Informer where I'd review, uh, these are both indie games and like the creator of the mm. game that I would give a low score to would be like, what the fuck? Like this game is so much better than the score you gave it. And like, it wasn't about like, you it's made like a factual you, error. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it's hey, like, you want, better. You, you want to write back and say, you have spent like multiple years working on this and are maybe a little too close to it to, yeah. to say that as someone who just played it and didn't really like it. Like I kind of have the right to say, I didn't like it. That's kind of my job. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, so at GameSpot, we had a large enough staff to where, I mean, myself, like as the head of reviews would take all those calls for any review except for reviews that I had written and then like, you know, Alex would take them or Greg or, you know, we'd like, we'd have, you know, so that it, it, cause it, it would potentially make it personal if you feel like you are under a personal attack by someone. So we kind of set up that to have that layer there, but like, we don't have enough people for that. I guess no one does. Um, but also like that stuff just doesn't happen the way it used to. Like people were always fucking trying to crawl down our throats about GameSpot reviews. Like they thought they were going to get somewhere with it. And it was like, okay, I mean, if you think that there are real, and, and occasionally, I mean, you know, like people are human, like occasionally there'd be like mistakes, like, oh, wait, the game totally does have voice chat. You just right. somehow missed this thing. Um, and, you know, you'd have to make retractions, you'd have to make it right and, and try to move on and, and try to do better next time. But uh, I've seen it happen more with PR people where it's like PR people mad that they didn't agree with the score you gave. And again, not a factual error or whatever, but it's like, oh my God, I can't believe you didn't. Well, it's like, like usually that they're the ones coming they're, because they're the ones that have your phone number. They're the ones coming to you. You know, right, like right. It, it's, it's on behalf of some developer somewhere who's pissed off. I mean, it's right there in the job title, public relations. Right. right. Like yeah. They are there to be the liaison between game makers and you. Yeah. 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 But you know, I got a big long letter from a developer once after like the, the head of a, it was a large studio game and Dude was not happy. I remember that. Um, yeah, and and he he was it was like you know you're taking food off my table and all like all this sort of stuff. And you're just like um, I just don't think it's a particularly good game. That's kind of the the long and the short of it. And then there's that weird thing of like you know it's like whatever I'm I'm a I'm a big boy if like someone wants to fucking do that fine yeah but then when the public relations people from that company get wind that their people have contacted you directly, they fucking flip out. Mm -hmm. You're like, I'm so sorry. Like these, this end around the pool. And it's like, that's, eh, I mean, okay, it's fine. Like, it's not like you're hurting, you know, whatever. Like we approach games on their own. It's not like, Oh, well that guy contacted me. So obviously every game that publisher makes is shit. Yeah. Now it's like, whatever. It's and there's just no conversation to be had. I mean, those yeah. email chains just die because it's like, yep, yeah, sorry that I didn't like your game more. Like, well, again, it's basically just a due diligence thing of the PR people being able to tell their bosses, like, yeah, we tried, we told them. Yeah, yeah. a lot of times it's definitely that, and and you know, you say, okay, thank you for your concern. We will we will look into it, and then that's kind of that. 
And you look into it and go, hey, that game reviewed. You, you really don't like it, right? I'm like, yep. I'm like, okay, we looked into it. You know, there's like, there's nothing else to say. <laughs> like, and then sometimes people will persist. You know, I've, I've definitely had people go like, so what do you, are you doing anything about this? I'm like, we have investigated the situation and stand by the review. Like, if that's not good enough for you, I don't, you know, I don't know what to tell you at that point. There's nothing that you want to not work with us in the future. Like, whatever. Like, uh, you know, yeah. do what you need to do. But, but we have done, we have looked into it. Some publishers have more of a track record with that than others. Sure. Yeah. But that's, I don't know, for me, like that, that stuff is all ancient history. Like that, that yeah, barely ever that, happens. That feels like a anymore. relic of a different time. Yeah, totally. Totally. At this point. But then again, we're just not reviewing as many games. Like it's not. Yeah, but I think like the the game has changed a lot of cases too. Like you know, it's like even the sites that are still reviewing games, like are they as relevant as they used to be? You know, compared to other stuff out there, like the the power of Metacritic seems like it's really lessened these days because it's just not. Did you ever see publishers not send you their next game because of a score you gave to a previous game? Yeah, sure. Or or not send us a game because they don't think that. I mean, that's something we ran into with like that five star scoring system. Actually, as a direct relation to Metacritic, like there was a while there that EA was set up in such a way that they needed their games to be rated 85 or higher. We only have one score that goes above 85, and it's five stars when you, once you translate it out to Metacritic. Mm -hmm. So they had set up a system by which the PR people and some of the other like they were incentivized to not send us games unless they were really certain it was going to get five stars. So anything that, that they had you know, had personal doubts about, they'd be like, well, we're just not going to send it. And then and, and that would happen. But in terms of just like, yeah, like backlash from a previous game, not sending the next one. You know, most publishers, there's such a long delay between them shipping games yeah. that by the time the next game comes out, it's a totally different conversation and you're starting fresh. Like, it's not, it, it rarely, if ever, like... Who knows if you're going to get the same reviewer. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, there, were, there were a lot of... Cooler. There were a lot heads. of more peripheral ways for them to exact their vengeance. You know, it's like, oh, they didn't get invited to, like, some press event. Yeah, or, exactly. Like, or, like, you know, lesser things that... Hey, you didn't like Midnight Club, so IGN got the exclusive on the next GTA or, right. you know, whatever the fuck yeah. it is, yeah. you know? It was, yeah, it was, it was pretty trivial stuff for the most part. Yeah. Or they're just rude to you at uh, events. Yeah, sure. Or, you know, occasionally get stuff like that. But, you know, whatever. Yep. Everyone's generally pretty civil. Yep. Yeah. All that stuff feels like ancient history. Yeah, it really does. And it will continue to be more so. Uh, Alistair from Newcastle. Presume.